Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, the team's been working in the Fort Greene Community Garden. It's a cool place that grows flowers and food for the whole neighborhood. But there's a problem in the garden. Somebody buried barrels of perk there, and that stuff is poison. The perk made Gabby and lots of other people real sick. So, the team's trying to find out who dumped the dangerous barrels to make them clean it up. So far, they found out the barrels were sold to the French Garment Cleaners, a dry cleaning store where Momo works. Momo told the team the barrels of perk are taken away by a private hauling company, but he doesn't know its name. Now, here are some new facts from the last show. First, the team asked Ghost Rider to read the office files of the French Garment Cleaners. With his help, they figured out that the perk was hauled by Miller's Hauling Company. Gotcha now. So, Alex and Tina checked out Mr. Miller. Look at all those awards. Anybody that gives that much money to youth groups can't be bad. It's starting to look like Miller might be okay after all. Then... I told you, the Shredder will be here Saturday. I don't care how you get the papers. Just get them to me on Saturday. Miller's definitely up to no good. So maybe the papers Miller was talking about are evidence. They might show that he dumped the barrels in our garden. And now he's trying to shred that evidence. The papers are invoices from the French garment cleaners, and the team's got to get them before Miller does. They're proof that he dumped the barrels. But when they get to the cleaners, they find out someone's already trashed the place, and the invoices are gone. Listen, we've been trying to figure out this case. And we think we know the guy who trashed your boss's office. The same guy that dumped the barrels in our garden. Can the team stop Miller before he shreds the evidence? Get a pencil in your casebook out and keep track of the clues, because the Ghost Rider team is on the case. Listen, we've been trying to solve this case. And we think we know the guy who trashed your boss's office. The same guy that dumped the barrels in our garden. So? So would he talk to us? Maybe he could help us catch this guy Miller. Who cares if he caught Sony? Well, we can help him. Look. Come back when you've got some help. Somebody who doesn't go to the movies on a child's ticket. What are we gonna do, Alex? Without those invoices, there's no way to prove Miller hauled the perk and dumped it in our garden. We'd better call a rally. amazing the things you can find in the street. It's pretty beat up. Yeah, but I know exactly how I can fix it up. It'll look great in my room. Come on, Alex and Tina must have some news. gonna be here. We figured Mr. Miller had the invoices stolen from French garment dry cleaners. The invoices would prove that Miller hauled French garments perk. And the lot number on the invoices would show that he dumped it in our garden. And from this note, you know Miller's gonna shred the evidence tomorrow at noon. Man. If only there's a way to get hold of that evidence before Miller destroys it. Why don't we call Lieutenant McQuaid? The police can bust into Miller's and slap the cuffs on him before he can do anything. They can't do that without a search warrant. And they can't get a warrant without evidence. Which brings us right back to where we started. There might be a way to get something against Miller, even if he does shred the invoices. 
How? By catching him in the act. Yeah. You're right. I have my school video camera checked out for a project this weekend from school. Alex and I can go back to the warehouse tomorrow. We know the place better than any of you. We get it all on tape. Yeah, yes, that yes. could work. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why not? Get him. Hold it, you guys. You'd better be really careful. That's funny. It seems like no one's around. The warehouse is probably closed on Saturdays. I bet that's why Miller wanted the shredder to come today, so that nobody would see him. Let's see if there's a back way in. Come on. Look! Mobile Shredding Corporation. Quick. The shredder. There he is. Look at all those papers. Looks like Miller's hauled a lot of toxic waste. And he must have dumped them all illegally, or he wouldn't be trying to get rid of his records. Too bad we can't get the real invoices. Let's go crank this baby up. Let's get out of here. He's going to have to move closer. Try to get a close-up of the invoices so we can prove that he's shredding evidence. The print's too small to read. We won't be able to read anything. Wait a minute. I know you. What are you doing with the camera? Come on, let's get out of here. Give me that videotape. You hear me? Give me that videotape! Come on, this way. Hurry up. In there. What? We have no other choice. Come on. It stinks. Yeah, well, it's better than getting caught. I'm really scared, Alex. Yeah, so am I. I know, Alex. It's coming back. What if we check this truck this time? We're gonna get caught. Yeah, well, no matter what happens to us, at least we're together. Those were those same two kids that were nosing around here Thursday. Are you sure you didn't see them? I just wish I knew it was on that videotape. Well, it's too late to worry about it now. What are your information that they're looking for? It's in that bag. Shred it. I mean, the shredded evidence. Still, I think we should take it. See if we can put it back together. Come on. Are you sure you didn't see them? I just wish I knew it was on that videotape. Well, it's too late to worry about it now. What are your information that they're looking for? It's in that bag. Shred it. <laughs> Man, that was close. I thought maybe you and Tina stopped for an ice cream cone or something. Cut it out, Gabby. This is serious. Well, this shredded stuff's not going to help us any. It might as well be confetti. Yeah. Well, we still have the videotape. Can't we shout out to Officer Cole? I don't know, Tina. 
We really can't see what Miller was shredding in the video. This is so frustrating. We've got all the pieces, but we can't make them fit together. I can't believe a criminal like Miller is going to be named Citizen of the Year at Hurston School tomorrow. Yeah, what a scam. And it's perfect. Huh? Well, it's just the hook we've been looking for. What are you talking about? Fannie Mae Banner, remember? The tenants complained to Mr. Bennett, and they complained to the city. The city ordered Mr. Bennett to make repairs, and he said the work was done. Great job, right? No! no. That's when the residents called in Fannie Mae Banner. Well, Fannie Mae said the only way she'd cover this story was if there was a scandal. That's just what we found. Yeah, Mr. Citizen of the Year is really public enemy number one. Fannie Mae can make Miller confess. But first, we have to convince her to help us catch him. She said we had to sell her on a story in writing. So what do we need to say? I'll write stuff down. We should tell her how Miller tries so hard to act like Citizen of the Year, then show her what a crook he really is. Yeah, that's the scam the part. So first, tell her about all the awards he's gotten. Then get to the dirt. We have proof that Miller has been poisoning our community garden. Got it. How does this sound? John Miller has won a lot of awards, but we have proof that he poisoned our garden. Brilliant, huh? Pretty good. What's the matter? It has the important facts. Well, Fannie Mae said we had to sell her on the story. It sounds too boring. Maybe we should make it sound more Fannie Mae-like. What does that mean? Well, Fannie Mae has her own way of talking. She uses a lot of strong details, and she really knows how to stir people up with how bad a situation is. Let's start by saying, there's a scandal in Fort Greene. Good. Then she'd say, John Miller, Citizen of the Year, gives money to the children's home. And that's not all he's done for us. He dumped in how many? Twelve, I think. And that's illegal. He illegally dumped 12 barrels of that tetrachloro... Oh, come on. Give me a break. Perk. Poisonous perk. I love it. Poisonous perk. In our community garden. Children got sick. Rabbits died. And homeless people went hungry. And the garden had to be closed down. Great. Then we do the audience participation part. We tried to get somebody to remove those barrels, but would anybody listen? No! no! She goes for it now. And I can type it up on my computer so that it looks nice. And I'll deliver it. The studio's not too far from here. Why don't you bring her my video as proof that Miller destroyed evidence? Cool. Good luck, guys. Yeah. What could be taking so long? Yeah, this can't be a good sign. I mean, if any may... Hello? It's Gabby. Yeah, really? Is Fanny Mae gonna do her story? Oh. She's not gonna do her story? Gotcha. I'll let her know right away. Bye. Well? Fanny Mae loves our story. She said it sounds just like her, and she'll do it. Yes! Right, 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 yes but, yes. but... She needs one more piece of solid evidence proving Mr. Miller was the one who held the barrels from French Garment. Like a witness. Oh, man. Why does she need a witness? Well, she says she's a responsible journalist, and she can't go around making false accusations. But we've done everything we could to nail Miller, and he's destroyed all the evidence. Wait a minute. Momo's boss at French Garment Cleaners. He wouldn't talk to us. Yeah, but I bet he talked to Fannie Mae Banner. All right, we're gonna nail Miller for sure. Let's go see if we can find Momo. Yeah, we'll check back with you later. All right, see you later. Bye. Bye. Oh. Well, I guess I'd better be getting home now. You know, my mom's been kind of on me lately to help more in the shop. Uh, Tina. Yeah? Um, about what happened today in the truck. I'm really sorry if I was too pushy. Um, no, you weren't pushy. 
I was just kind of surprised, that's all. So you forgive me? Sure. I mean, well, actually, I'm glad you did. You guys just don't quit, do you? And this time, we're not alone. Oh, yeah? Well, if your boss won't talk to us, how about Fannie Mae Banner? Hey, that's one cool lady. Could you just ask your boss if he has any records proving that Miller was the one who took away his perk? I don't know. He always recycles his perk. Well, he thinks he does. He wouldn't want to get involved in something like this. But don't you get it? He is involved. The battles came from here. And your boss must be mad at Miller for robbing his place. And for dumping the perk. I guess I can ask. Uh, don't forget to tell him it's Fannie Mae Banner who wants the evidence. He'll talk to you. Yes! Wait till they see what we've got. I wish they'd hurry up and get here. Who is it? Mom! So what happened? Did Momo's boss agree to help us? He's got it in the bag. Every time Momo's boss paid Miller, he wrote down the price he paid and the lot number of the barrels. He's willing to testify, too, because he thought Miller was recycling the park. And because we got Fannie Mae Banner to cover the scandal. Yeah. Excellent. Let's steal Fannie Mae. We've got to call Officer Cole, too. I'm sure she'll want to see French garments records and my videotape. Hey, I know the perfect place where Officer Cole and Fannie Mae can find Miller. Tomorrow, when he gets a Citizen of the Year award. Hello? Officer Cole? Great. We'll be there. Bye. It's all set. Tomorrow at 12 noon, Fannie Mae and Officer Cole are gonna bag Miller right on TV. And everyone will see Miller for who he really is. Yeah! yeah. All right! All right. Heroes. Get him All right. Right. <laughs> Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. We still got a problem. What? Who's gonna remove the barrels from the garden? Miller. Sure, eventually. But first, there's got to be a trial. And trials take a long time. You mean it could be months before the court makes Mr. Miller take the barrels out of our garden? <sighs> right. Oh, man. Back when we started again? It's not fair. Big zero. Wait! What? I have an idea. Maybe we can convince Mr. Miller to take those barrels out now. How? by telling him what he's done to us in front of the TV audience. Yeah. In the middle of Mr. Miller's speech, I'll run up on the stage and give an even bigger speech about what a creep he is. <laughs> yeah, that ought to scare him. Hmm. I think that's what Fannie Mae is going to do, Alex. But we could make a lot of posters about what he's done to us and hold them in front of the TV cameras. People at home will see that we're not going to put up with Miller's barrels another day. Yeah, community pressure. I like it. The <laughs> pen is mightier than the creep. Let's get started. Let's write one that says Mr. Miller's a creep and a crook. Miller should go to jail for life. No, no, hold it, guys. Those would just make him mad. So what? Mr. Miller makes me mad. Remember what we're trying to do? We need to show Mr. Citizen of the Year how much his barrels have hurt us. Yeah, and why his barrels ought to be cleaned up right now. Exactly. How about, your barrels made kids sick? Great. Oh, I get it. Your barrels killed our rabbits. Your barrels shut down our free food program. Your barrels poisoned the hungry. And we forgot the most important one. Mr. Citizen of the Year, get your barrels out now. Yeah. And I've got some extra poster board in case we need some. Excellent. People always talk about how the world needs to change, but not when it's their life they've got to rearrange. So not wood for the kids in the hood who take up the slack, leading the pack on the right track. Hey, I have an idea. What? Sally, she's always the best at stirring up people. 
I'll bet she could get other people to make signs, too. They wouldn't dare resist. <laughs> you guys get started on the posters. I'll meet with you guys after I talk to Sally. Be back soon. Okay, bye. 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 It's time for a change. Check it. Gotta look forward and up, or we'll be down and out long term. Thinking up the quick fix without a doubt. Talk is cheap. Actions speak. Light is on words. Listen up in case you haven't heard. Pollution of earth, mind, body, and soul. My generation says just say no. Educate or devastate before it's too late. Erase the hate. Don't hesitate. Cause it's time for a change. Things just can't stay the same. Life is more than a game. You know, it's time for a change. I can think of no greater honor or privilege than to be named Citizen of the Year by my neighbors. I hope this works. It's got to. What's taking so long? But he's ready. You two better stay out of sight. Miller might recognize you. We'd better hurry up. Officer Cole, did you see Momo's boss? Yes, I did, and he gave me his records. We have all the evidence we need. Where's Fannie Mae? Maybe she decided not to show up. Well, we're running out of time if we're going to make the arrest here. So, in conclusion, I want to thank you once again for this great honor. You know, Fort Greene is our home. And the kids of Fort Greene are our future. And we should all do what we can to make that future bright. We wouldn't be applauding if they knew the truth. Look, maybe we're going to have to take a chance on exposing Miller out Fannie Mae. You ready, Officer Cole? With Fanny Mae. She made it. <laughs> this better be good. I hear you've done a whole lot for this community, Mr. John Miller, such as poisoning children and defenseless animals. I just don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> What's going on here? Would you get a load of this fella? Citizen of the Year. Gives money to the children's home, but that's not all he's done for us. Hey, that's my line. I guess you really liked what we sent her. I have proof that Mr. John Miller has dumped barrels of toxic waste right here in the middle of his own neighborhood. That's ridiculous. She's lying. Am I lying, Officer Cole? John Miller, I have a warrant for your arrest under Section 27-14 of the Environmental Conservation Law, a Class C felony, reckless endangerment of the public health, safety, or environment. You can't prove anything. We have more than enough proof, including a videotape of you destroying evidence and records from the owner of the French garment cleaners. All of you know me. You know how much I've done for this community. Let's go. requires you to pay for the immediate removal of the barrels. Barrels out now! Barrels out now! Barrels out now! Barrels out now! I bet the people of this community will go a lot easier on you, Mr. Miller, if you don't wait for the court to order you to get rid of those barrels. Put your money where your mouth is, Miller! All right. All right. All right! I'll do it. Get rid of them right away.
dump those barrels. Come on up here, kids. I want everyone to know who you are. all to meet the group that brought this case to my attention. With young people like these, the John Millers of the world don't stand a chance. Let's do it. Watch out here, Mr. Miller! Exercise your head. Right. Gooster is brought to you in part by Nike. Additional bucks that keep our team supreme come from public television viewers like you and me. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The John Dean Catholic Team MacArthur Foundation. The Pew Charitable Trusts. And the Youth Department of Education. But you can't say it all in breath. I bet you can. People always talk about how the world needs to change, but not when it's it like they've got to rearrange. So not wood for the kids in the hood who take up the slack, leading the pack on the right track. You know y'all gotta see darkness before you see light, but no matter. What's left, we're gonna make it right. It's our opportunity for legacy, not tragedy. Open your mind, you will see. It's time for a change. Things just can't stay the same. The life is more than a game. Yo. <laughs> Ghost Rider was originally produced for the public broadcasting service. Read more about Ghost Rider and the Ghost Rider team in these Bantam books. To purchase Bantam books, video cassettes, or a teacher's guide for programs in this series, contact GPN, P.O. Box 80669, Lincoln, Nebraska, 68501, or call 1-800-228-4630.